Hello and welcome to the main cave. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you about the Apple AirTags and how I will be using them this summer. So I'm going to be using it to track my suitcase when I go on holiday, which may not prevent it going missing, but it will give me peace of mind as to where it is, and it can you too, for relatively little money and effort. If you haven't seen in the news recently, a lot of travellers' luggage have gone missing for one reason or another. And although this isn't 100% foolproof, it's certainly going to be better than losing my bags without an Apple AirTag. Also at the end of the video, I'm going to run down five creative uses for the AirTag, not just the way that I will be using mine. So here it is then, this is the Apple AirTag. It's relatively cheap, around £25 or $25 for one, or in a multi-pack for a bit less per unit. It currently only comes in one colour, but you can have it engraved when buying it directly from Apple. It doesn't come with any accessories, but as you can imagine, Amazon is full of third-party accessories. The AirTag is white on one side and mirrored silver on the other with the Apple logo. It's 32 millimeters wide with a thickness of eight millimeters and weighs all of 10 grams. There are competitors to the AirTag that have been out significantly longer, the most popular one being Tile. The tiles are a bit cheaper and work very similar, albeit don't fit into the Apple ecosystem as well. Tile though is also compatible with Android, and although Apple AirTag isn't Android compatible, there is a way to track it, but it is very, very limited. As I mentioned earlier, Amazon is filled with accessories for the AirTag, such as numerous styles of key rings, wallets, wristbands, whatever you want to be tracking, there will be an accessory for it. I mean, feel free to get the official key ring for around £40, up to an eye-watering £300, but I just went on Amazon and picked one up that had good reviews. I bought the keyring adapter for £8 and it came in a pack of four, all different colours which are great quality. Just pop the AirTag inside, whichever way around you want to, and hook it onto anything you like, just like any regular keyring. And for the purposes of this video, I will be just using this keyring or nothing at all. So as I said earlier, I'm going away on holiday this summer and I want to track my luggage. All I need to do is keep the AirTag inside my suitcase and it will travel with me tracking it along the way. But how does it do this? But it's simple, really. It uses the Find My app installed on every iPhone. I generally use this app to track my kids when they walk home from school or to ping a lost device in the house. To set up the AirTag, all you do is remove the plastic strip from the AirTag to turn it on and have your phone nearby. Your phone picks it up and asks you if you want to set it up. You click OK, and that's literally it. Give it an emoji and you're done. No more setting up is required. Then once that's done, in the Find My app, it will be under Items at the bottom menu. Click that and you can see where it is. So put two and two together and you can see how I'll be using this when I go away. Okay, so there are some caveats which I'll talk about in a bit, but in theory, it should work beautifully. So the AirTag works by latching onto any nearby iPhone and sending a signal of its location, a pretty rough location. You then get to see this location no matter where it is in the world. And as you get near the AirTag, you connect to it via Bluetooth, automatically, you don't need to do anything, and you get a slightly more accurate location. And then when you get really close to it, something called Ultra Wideband fires up, again automatically, and you get a very accurate location of your AirTag. Your phone then guides you towards it using some sort of hot and cold game where a large arrow is pointing your way. Within the Find My app, you can do numerous things using the AirTag. You can simply rename it, remove it. You can activate loss mode while by any of the finds you will see your contact details, so hopefully they can get it back to you. And you can also get it to play a sound, which is like a high trill, enough to hear it from, say, another room. And finally, you can click Direct Me, whereby it will search for the AirTag and give you a surprisingly accurate location of where it is and in which direction. Here's the scenario. You've flown to another country. Your airline is saying that there's a delay with your bags. So you want to know where they are. Whip out your phone and track it in Find My just to see if it's in the airport through those flaps at the carousel or is it on its way to another country altogether. So that's the plan anyway. So the caveats that I mentioned earlier. Well, if the AirTag isn't anywhere near another iPhone, then the signal won't be sent. So if your luggage is floating out in the Atlantic or it's been dropped off near the North Pole, then chances are it won't be tracked. 
It needs to be near any iPhone and will send its last known location and how long ago that was, so at the very least you can get a general idea. I've been testing the AirTag recently out and about and it's been flawless. The ultra wideband and tracking is excellent and directs you to the location very easy and accurately. It just works. The battery on it should last an entire year and it is replaceable and it's small enough to pretty much fit anywhere you needed to. Don't get any ideas of sneaking this into another person to track. The person will get alerted that you have an AirTag following them to prevent this being misused. The AirTag literally has one job and that is to find itself and it does that very well. I don't need or want it to do anything else and it doesn't claim to do anything else. It's simple and works with very little effort. If you have an iPhone and you want to track something that can't go with you, then an AirTag, the seamless integration into the ecosystem is great. The AirTag is small enough to fit anywhere. There's loads of accessories and I'll leave all the links down in the description below. Other than having it working on an iPhone, the AirTag also works on an iPad or an iPod if you have one of the more recent models. Instead of saying them all here, I will leave a list of currently compatible devices at the end of the video. So I did say at the beginning, I would give you a few ideas on how you can use the AirTag a little bit more creatively than just sticking it in your luggage. And here's five ideas for you. Number one, in your car. Always find your way back to your car when in a parking lot and never forget where you parked again. Secondly, what about in a tent if you ever go to a festival? Same as the car, you find your tent amongst all of the hundreds of thousands of campers. Thirdly, on a bike. Not only to help you find a stolen bike, but also to let others know when you are cycling somewhere perilous. Number four, on about on a wandering pet. How about if you have a dog that you let loose and you want to know where it goes out or out and around around the fields? Find out where they are by attaching one to its collar and release the hounds. And finally, number five, stick it on your TV remote. Use ultra wideband every single day to locate the remote from down the back of the sofa. Remember, do tell me, do you have an air tag? What's your most creative use for it? And are you thinking of picking one up to track your luggage just in case? Do let me know down in the comments below. Okay, thanks very much then. And until the next video, bye-bye.